What's going on guys? Your main man back with another reaction. And today we're looking at Mr. WrestleMania, aka the TMZ of the WWE with the real reasons why Brock Lesnar lost at Crown Jewel 2021. Now I saw the pay-per-view event and quite honestly I thought it was a great pay-per-view event. My favorite matches was Edge versus Seth Rollins and Goldberg versus Bobby Lashley. But we all know everybody came here to see the main event marquee matchup the show stopping headliner match Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar great match I can't wait to see what Mr. WrestleMania has to say about that match so without further ado let's check it out what is going on guys it is WrestleMania here back with another video now the 2021 edition of Crown Jewel is over with the much anticipated main event of Universal Champion Roman Reigns versus his arch rival Brock Lesnar ending in controversy. Now if you're looking for answers as to why Lesnar lost, well you've come to the right place. Join us now as we look at the real when reasons the ref went why down, I was Brock like, Lesnar that's lost it. at Crown it's over. Jewel. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Now in case you haven't watched Crown Jewel or our recap, here's a brief summary of what happened. Roman managed to gain the upper hand mid-match, only for Lesnar to counter a spear, getting Reigns into a suplex city and an F5. But after Reigns countered a second F5 with a guillotine choke, Lesnar managed to escape, F5ing Reigns again, but also knocking over referee Charles Robinson. Mm -hmm. Paul Heyman then threw the championship belt in the ring and he mentioned, you know what to do. But after Brock wrested it from Reigns, yeah, that was crazy. he managed that took to a, a double super kick from the Usos. Reigns clobbered Lesnar with the belt, covering him as a replacement referee conveniently rolled in and counted Lesnar's shoulders to the mat. But now fans are asking why Lesnar, arguably Reigns' biggest opponent to date, lost, particularly after weeks of the WWE teasing that Paul Heyman was secretly aligned with him. Well, number one, Brock Lesnar is still part-time. Now, while Brock Lesnar's fighting days in UFC True. are over, there doesn't appear to be any desire on his part to work a full-time schedule, no matter how much money the WWE throws at him. Brock's unwillingness <laughs> to work full-time has been a sore spot for the fans who expect their world champion to show up more than once every three months. Once upon a time, Vince McMahon's world seemed to rise and set on Brock, but that no longer is the case. Consequently, a part-time champion isn't going to cut it for the WWE. Number two, Brock Lesnar is no longer the next big thing. Now, there's no denying that Brock's days as the next big thing are long over, and while he remains a blue chip star in the WWE, what is he going to do that he hasn't done already? Brock has held the world championships, including the WWE Championship and the Universal Championship, for dominant reigns and defeated everyone there is to defeat in the WWE. When it comes to Reigns, Lesnar dominated him during the Beast heyday, and it was the rare occasion when Reigns was able to secure a win over him. The times have changed though, and at this point, a win over Roman Reigns seems completely counterproductive to Vince McMahon, which brings us to our next reason. Number three, Roman Reigns is still white hot. Right. Now, Roman Reigns is too over for the WWE to have anyone defeat him right now. Reigns is and has been the hottest act on SmackDown in over a year, with fans flocking to the Tribal Chief's heel persona. The Usos have jumped a notch thanks to their cousin association with their dominate cousin, me, resulting in the bloodline becoming one of the <laughs> WWE's hottest acts in some time. The bloodline may be booked as heels, but it's obvious from the fans' reactions that they're over with the majority of fans. Whether it's the WWE Universe cheering the bloodline or buying their merchandise, Roman and the Usos are far too popular to have lost at this point. Number 4. The timing isn't right. Now with Reigns being such a hot act, we believe that the WWE felt the timing for a Lesnar win was not right. While the WWE needed a high profile match for Crown Jewel and Lesnar vs Reigns certainly fit the bill, it also had to think about what's next after its Super Saudi show. Survivor Series is just a month away and the WWE wants to book another big match as Raw and SmackDown's top stars collide. Right now that means Biggie vs Roman Reigns, a match that should have fans on the edge of their seats. Although Brock vs. Biggie would, like to would see be that. compelling, it's, it's not in the same class right now. And with the WWE facing continued competition from All Elite Wrestling, why leave anything to chance? The WWE is making more money with Reigns as champion on SmackDown right now, and there's no reason to think that they could do any better if Lesnar had won the belt tonight. Not only would Lesnar's part-time schedule interfere with his drawing power, but any title defenses would be against opponents he's faced before. Number 5. Brock is another stepping stone. 
The WWE is clearly building up Roman Reigns as their megastar, with rumours continuing to circulate that the WWE's long-term plan is to turn Roman babyface, it makes sense that the WWE wants to get him over as a badass champion who the fans can't help but admire based both on his dominance and his style. A wrestling is full of scenarios where heels prove so dominant that fans gravitate to them, leading to babyface turns for unlikely candidates goat, such man. as The Undertaker or The Rock. After over a year of conquering the best that WWE has to offer, Vince McMahon has brought in legendary opponents including John Cena and Brock Lesnar. Brock was brought in to provide a world-class match for Crown Jewel and to put Roman Reigns over in the process. Number 6. Brock is Plan B Despite his loss, the circumstances of Lesnar's loss left the door open for a rematch. Lesnar can claim he had Reigns beat and would have defeated him had the referee not been knocked out and the Usos hadn't been able to interfere. The reason that this is important is because the WWE is possibly reserving a rematch between Brock and Roman for WrestleMania 38. Right now, the only major opponent for Lesnar seems to be The Rock, and while the current theory is that The Rock won't wrestle until WrestleMania 39, assuming he's even available, anyone who thinks the WWE would move heaven and earth to bring him into the 2022 showcase of the Immortals has no idea how the WWE operates. But that being said, the WWE also knows that it needs a strong opponent for Roman at WrestleMania, and Brock Lesnar would be an ideal candidate for a rematch. Having Lesnar lose to Reigns at Crown Jewel in a controversial fashion did little to hurt Lesnar's value. Number 7. There are more opponents to feed Reigns Whether Roman Reigns wrestles The Rock at WrestleMania or someone else, they want to maintain Reigns' win streak, which means it's more than likely that the WWE is going to have Reigns wrestle different opponents on SmackDown. Drew McIntyre will likely be Reigns' opponent sometime between Survivor Series and WrestleMania, giving Reigns an even more impressive title run until he works WrestleMania. Don't expect to see Lesnar in the picture unless the WWE plans on having Heyman betray Reigns, a storyline that the WWE has been handling quite well, so well that even Reigns' crown jewel victory, fans couldn't be sure whether his true loyalties lie, resulting in a babyface turn for Reigns and subsequent chase for the belt. Number 8. Brock is a free agent and while Brock Lesnar's loss surprised some fans, his loss doesn't mean as much because Lesnar is a free agent, which means he can work on Raw or SmackDown. Now, there's no good reason for Lesnar to wrestle Reigns right now and the WWE should save any rematch for WrestleMania. Instead, Lesnar could challenge Big E on Raw or even work the much discussed but never booked dream match between Lesnar and Lashley. With right. Lesnar only working part time, like he could see. work one or two matches on Raw before focusing on another return at Reigns in 2022. Number 9. Roman is SmackDown's salvation Not only is Roman and the Usos a white hot act, but they're the heart of SmackDown, the WWE's top show right now and one that consistently draws in the best ratings between itself and Raw. Having a part-time champion like Brock Lesnar would likely disrupt the show's chemistry even if Roman were to wrestle and or appear every week. Fox has reportedly already expressed its reservations about how SmackDown has performed so a major shift like a part-time champion wouldn't go over well. And number 10, the WWE is playing it safe. There are many reasons why Roman retained and Brock became the Tribal Chief's latest victim, but one that can't be denied is the WWE likes to play it safe. They're not known for taking risks, recall how long it took for the WWE to actually turn Reigns heel despite years of him failing to get over as a babyface, so the very conservative Mr. McMahon has no discernible reason to put someone over Reigns right now. The problem with this is that at some point, the WWE Universe is going to tire of the same old same old that they deal with Reigns' title matches and it's probably going to take a long time before Mr. McMahon realises this and does something about it. McMahon's tendency to plan for the present and not long term means he's likely elated over Reigns' success and he has no plans to change things, whether it's Brock Lesnar or anyone else. While the manner of Lesnar losing wasn't well thought out, in fact it was kind of lazy, it was essential to the WWE's plans. But there you have it guys, why Brock Lesnar lost at Crown wow. Jewel. Be sure to leave your comments down below. I'll see you next time with some 10 WWE Super Heavyweights who did flippy cruiserweight moves. I would love to watch that video. And then 10 WWE Superstars Triple H selfishly buried. Ooh. These two right here? Oh man, that sounds interesting, man. If you guys hit this video with a thumbs up, a major, major thumbs up, I will watch both videos. I would love to watch those videos. Do me a favor, y'all. Y'all hit the like button on this video right now as we speak, man, because I would love to see those, quite honestly. But um, back to the Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns matchup. 
Um, this matchup, it really was a great matchup in my personal opinion. Um, seeing Roman Reigns fly over the top rope, that was extremely nuts in my personal opinion. I did not expect that. A 6'3", 200, and I think 86 pound guy flying over the top rope with such like, such, how can I put it, such vertical in the air. That was nuts in the match. And then, you know, Brock Lesnar, he broke out of the guillotine. That impressed me a lot because I've never seen anybody break out of the guillotine. And um, another highlight throughout the match was when Roman Reigns went for the spear and Brock Lesnar hurtled like over him. Guys, y'all gotta think, man. This dude is, I believe Brock is 45, 46, I wanna say. I believe. I believe in the age range of 43 to 46. 6'3", and I think Brock is 289. I know he, him and Reigns is like in the same weight class, but I want to say Brock Lesnar is like 289. Imagine a dude that big and in his 40s hurtling over a 6'3", 286-pound dude. That was nuts, man. It really was. But I honestly thought that Brock Lesnar was going to win that matchup. I really did. And I thought that, you know, Paul Heyman was going to, you know, raise his hand up and say, you know, uh, now presenting, you know, the, the new um, uh, Universal World Heavyweight Champion, Brock Lesnar. I thought that that was going to happen quite honestly, but you know, watching this video here, it makes perfect sense as to why Roman Reigns retains the title. It makes a lot of sense because he's the hottest act right now in all of professional wrestling. He's the hottest superstar right now in all of professional wrestling. And they said that John Cena was going to be the last megastar. Well, it seems like Roman Reigns is on that path to mega stardom if he's not already on that path, quite honestly. I'm really happy for Roman Reigns because I've always been a fan of Roman Reigns, even when he was babyface with the shield, you know, coming down the stairs in the crowd when you had dehydrated women, you know, touching him and all that stuff. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I was laughing because, you know, they had some... They had some times where, you know, the dehydrated women, they was like touching him in places and you see his reaction is like, like, that's a big no-no because Roman Reigns, he's married. So it's like, you know, you can't be doing that, man. Calm your dehydration, ladies. But um, I'm just saying that for jokes, man. But yeah, I've always loved Roman Reigns. I've always loved him. I've said this in numerous videos in the past that I always loved him because number one, he's part of the Ana Wai family. That's number one. Number two, I've always admired his look. He has the height, he has the build, he has the toughness, he has he has it all. He has the talent, the in-ring ability, he has the selling, everything down packed. I think just that, I think it was just that, you know, a lot of people wasn't buying into the, um, the uh, baby face character. And I couldn't understand why, you know, people was booing him, but, you know, a lot of people have their reasons why they didn't like him, you know, doing the baby face thing. You know, some people said that they wanted him to be the next Cena and whatnot. But, you know, I still cheered for him. I still clapped for him in the whole nine, you know, because I'm a fan of Roman Reigns. Heel or baby face. I'm always going to support Roman Reigns, man. Always going to do that. And I have to do that because he's my future cousin-in-law, man. I got to stick with family, man. No, I'm just kidding. But, um... Anyways, y'all, that's the end of the reaction. If you guys like that reaction, hopefully you did hit it with a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Also, let me know in the comment section below what did you think of Crown Jewel if you saw it today. And also, let me know who do you think is next for Roman Reigns. And also, let me know who you think is next for uh, a major, major push and a major, major title run. And with that being said, so the next reaction video, stay safe, treat each other with respect, and peace.